In our last class, we cut around our um, design. We had pinned it onto the fabric and then we cut around it. We added this little edge around it called an allowance. And that way, when you use the whip stitch, it can come, um, you can put these two pieces of fabric together without making your monster smaller. Today, we're gonna talk about adding these pieces on. We're not gonna sew them today, but we are gonna go ahead and cut some things out. So we'll set this aside. We're gonna put this back in our bag that has everything. And um, we're gonna go ahead and without destroying this drawing, I'm gonna cut out the mouth. The reason why we're not gonna destroy this drawing is that I can put this on top of the felt and it'll show me exactly where to put the fabric that makes the mouth. So I want to make this a real big shape and I've got some fabric here. Um, this is going to be for the mouth and um, that way I can then put those teeth on, on top. So you may not need to use all pin, all the pins, but you still kind of want to have one or two on there. Keep it in place. So I always have the heads of the pins pointing out and the points are in there. So now I just take my scissors and I carefully, this time you want to cut right next to the paper. All right, so now I have the mouth. I'm going to take the pins out of that and set them aside. So I've got the mouth and I'm gonna do the teeth now. So a lot of times I'll just take a piece of fabric and see if anything will fit on there. Um, so this is a color that I wanna use for that. Uh, I may not need to use the pin for this, but just for example, I will show you. We can take one pin and I'm gonna use the flat end of the fabric here so I don't have to cut as many straight lines. And I'm just going to use the pin to pin this too thin. So the pin comes out. So I'm going to push this here and cut around like so. And then I can move the pin backwards and go like that. So now I've got a tooth and I can go right here. So I could also use this as my guide and say, oh yeah, that's right, that tooth went right here. All right, uh, all right, and now I'm gonna do this again. So for this one, uh, I'll show you the second technique. I can just pinch this with my thumb and I probably don't even need to work, worry about the pin. And then I will add that on there. Um, so I've already cut out some other pieces um, and we'll be sewing them on. So we put this here Maybe I turn this over. Ah, there we go. See, that matches up. Put this here and here. And I've got this piece for the lower eye and the upper eye. And then I've got this here. So now that matches up with my design. And we can begin sewing these together next time. For today, we're just gonna put the rest of all this stuff into the bag and any pieces left of your design you can put in there and save for next time.